Hello, my name is Sonam Tauke and this is my video log on my critical analysis essay. So my topic is on the public policy and the patent policy trade-off based on Singapore. Before I begin on how I wrote my essay and where I found the relevant data and information from, I'm going to share on what is patent policy and public policy trade-off. Patent protection is for enhanced main goal of patent protection is to enable inventors to profit from their inventions and it gives an incentive for the inventor to work which will promote research and development but this creates a problem this creates a problem because First of all, it creates may create a monopolistic institution. So something like um, in terms of, of health, if one creates a vaccine or medicine and one has a patent for that medicine. And so that medicine may be available from only one firm due to the patent protection other firms will not be able to provide it making a very monopolistic institution next all members of the public general public may not be able to have access to the invention or in terms of health or certain medicines or vaccines which uh, puts them at an at a disadvantage in order to find the information on my country which was Singapore I used one paper research paper which had almost all information on the healthcare system in Singapore and I used data from the Ministry of Health of Singapore and in terms of the patent and public trade-off I used two papers which are all given in my reference. Thank you. Started my essay. I read. Um, I read the four research papers, and uh, I skim and scanned the four papers. As reading the entire article would consume a lot of time, so I searched for my relevant topics, and um, and I summarized them based on my understanding. On the paper to look for any other papers since the paper that I found had everything starting from the problems to the solutions and the government interventions and the uh, results uh, brought by the interventions in that single paper in terms of the topic certain topics like behavior economics I used the help of ChatGPT to first of all explain what the theories might be and then according to my understanding I related it with the uh, behavior of the public in Singapore after writing this essay I have learned that patent policy trade-off like both sides of a coin has both its good and bad and it is very important to have uh, to have further uh, much further study on it and find ways to improve it in order to have a better society and healthcare system. The effects of patent protection, like I said earlier, is um, it promotes research and development, provides incentives to the inventors of the specific invention and it also provides funding for high-risk ventures will enable or help companies secure high investments when they're going on a high-risk high-reward ventures such as creating a, like uh, for example the COVID vaccine produced was a high-risk high venture project and patent protection enabled the companies to have investments that occur the trade-off between the patent and the public policies are that affordability and accessibility 
It creates barriers to uh, for accessing essential healthcare treatments, such as a treatment for diabetes. Uh, so, if one company has a patent on it, then it uh, would be very difficult for people, especially those who have limited means or limited uh, amount of money. Another one is public health concerns in situation where there are patent on drugs. If a global crisis such as COVID-19 appear, appeared, uh, patent may be a hindrance to the public health as it will not be efficient. It will take time, delay or limit access so harming the general public in order to mitigate some of the problems there can be compulsory licensing such as the government can intervene and uh, they can provide compulsory licensing which will allow other companies to form or make or produce generic forms of that specific invention or medicine and if we are Talking in terms of healthcare system, intervene and implement price ceilings or regulations in order to prevent price hikes. Another one can be an alternative form of funding models. So it does not have to be patent. There can be government grants, philanthropic funding, donations in order to um, in order to help the inventing process of new medicine partnerships can also be used to fund the new ventures uh, reducing dependency on the patent need for patents so this is what i learned from writing my critical analysis essay so in terms of bhutan although the healthcare system is pretty much free right now patents can play a role in helping the Bhutanese healthcare system to improve such as the inventions of new medicine can be promoted through patent protection but of course there is trade-off but personally for me I believe that patent protection will promote research and development especially in terms of the healthcare system in Bhutan Thank you.